Good morning, everybody. Professor Payton here with another fantastic video. We're going to teach you how to bed and brakes after service and hopefully not crash the car in the process. The reason you do this is to go ahead and get a matting surface for the new brake pad onto the rotor so that you don't get squeaking and stuff like that. Ironically, it looks like we're already in traffic, so we're going to have to pause this for a second. <laughs> Now that we've gotten out of some traffic, a couple things you want to do. Get the car to about 60 miles an hour. Make sure that you don't have someone behind you when you're doing this, because they might have them run into you. So, when you get the car up to speed, go ahead and slam on the brakes as hard as you can without activating the ABS. So we're going to slam on them really, really hard for about three to four seconds, let go. Give the brakes a chance to cool off. If you stop the vehicle, you're going to overheat the rotors. Do this a couple times. I used to do it three times. So get the car to 60 again, slam on the brakes as hard as you can, bed the brakes in, let them cool off. Get the car up to speed again, bed the brakes in, and then let the brakes cool off. What you're doing is you're heating up the pads and the rotors and you're getting a good matting surface. This way the customer doesn't experience the wear-in process with the brakes that usually happens at most shops where you get your squeaks and your noises and stuff like that. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks guys.